Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team. In today's video, I'd like to cover HDMI extension technology because a system like this makes it incredibly easy for you to share content from one location with a second or multiple locations hundreds of feet away. Now, normally when you're connecting up a media device like this to a monitor, they're usually in the same room and they're typically pretty close to each other. So you can use a simple direct connection between the two and you'll use an HDMI cable that looks a lot like this. This is a one meter cable, they come in various lengths, but one HDMI connection goes to the media player, the other end plugs into the monitor and you're all set. The challenge is, if you want to extend the distance between that media device and the monitor, it gets a whole lot trickier because the HDMI standard was really not designed for long cable runs. It was really built to do high speed delivery of media content over short distances. So if you start extending that cable too much, you might find that you'll get degradation in the audio and video signal, and in some cases it won't even work. Now the rule of thumb is, you want to keep it as short as possible, but if you're transmitting 1080p video, you might get by with a 50 foot cable. If you're transmitting 4K ultra high definition media, you want to keep it even shorter than that. 20 feet is about as far as you want to go. Keep it under 10 if you can. So again, if you're trying to watch a DVD upstairs in a bedroom that's playing on a DVD player down in the den, there's no way you can stretch a cable that far. And that's exactly what an HDMI extender is designed to help you with. So these come in a couple of different styles. They come in both wired and wireless formats. And I'll talk about both of those in a minute. But essentially, both systems operate the same. The difference is what you're finding is a transmitter on the one end where the media device is and a receiver on the other end where the monitor is. And then what these devices do is convert the HDMI signal here into some transport technology between these two receivers, the transmitter and receiver, and then convert it back to HDMI at the remote location. And again, there's a wired version and a wireless version, but they operate fundamentally the same. There are some differences between them that are important to understand though, and I'll go through those in a minute. So essentially what you're gonna do is connect up an HDMI cable from the transmitter module to whatever media device you'd like to transmit to the remote location. And if you're using a wired system, you use a LAN cable between them. And this can be a standard CAT6 or CAT7 cable. They're inexpensive, they're easy to run, and you'll plug it into one here on this transmitter side and the other end plugs into the receiver side. And then at that remote location, you'll connect another HDMI cable from the receiver to your monitor. And what happens is it'll broadcast that HDMI to the transmitter. It'll convert it to the transport topology, send it across that LAN cable, convert it back to HDMI over here and broadcast it to the monitor. And the best part about this is you can have distances that exceed 300, 400 feet. So you can actually have a DVD player downstairs in the den and a bedroom upstairs watching that picture. And the best part is some of these systems, the more advanced ones actually allow you to have one location where you're transmitting from and multiple receiver locations. So you can actually connect multiple receivers to a single transmitter and watch that same content at multiple locations. So that's pretty nice. Now, fundamentally, the wireless system operates exactly the same, except there's no cable involved. So the transmitter has an antenna on it and it actually broadcasts to the receiver, which picks up that signal and does the conversion. Now the trade-off between the two is you'll find that the wired systems tend to be a little bit more sophisticated and a little less expensive. So if you've got some time and you can get the cable run between those two locations, a wired system is always your best choice because it gives you advanced functionality. Things like infrared remote control. So in a lot of the wired systems, they come with a thing called an inter infrared blaster kit, which will basically pick up the infrared signals from the remote control at the secondary location and send those back over the same LAN cable to the primary location where it will broadcast it to allow you to control the content you're watching. That's a really nice feature. Another major feature of some of the wired systems is a technology called power over cable, which means normally these have to be powered up at the primary and secondary locations with a power supply, which doesn't seem like that big a deal, but it's another thing you have to deal with. A power over cable system allows you to sort of plug in the transmitter module and the power required to run the remote module is sent over that same LAN cable. So it allows you to sort of eliminate the power supply at that secondary location. So that's another advantage to the wired systems. The wired systems also will do other advanced features that include things like transmission of RS-232 signals across that same cable. So if you need to send remote control signals across that same LAN cable, it'll do that for you as well. Now the wireless systems have advantages as well. A wireless system eliminates the cable. So you can understand how much simpler it is to install a wireless system. You essentially plug it into the transmitter, I should say plug the transmitter into the media device, power it up, plug the receiver into the monitor, power it up, and that transmission signal syncs up and you can broadcast. There's no wiring to worry about. The other benefit to a wireless system is it's really easy to move that monitor anywhere you need it. So if it's an upstairs bedroom today, it could be downstairs in the den tomorrow. It also makes it really easy to switch that transmitter to different devices on the primary side. So wireless has some advantages, but it tends to be a little bit more expensive. It also has shorter transmission distances where a wired connection can typically go 400 feet without any issues whatsoever. Most wireless systems are under 200 
200 feet. There are some that go further, but they're very expensive and pretty sophisticated. So the big difference between them, again, comes down to, is it easy for you to run a wire? Is that secondary location gonna stay where you've got it today? So you know that when you run the wire, you're not gonna be moving that monitor around. So a wired solution sounds like a good play there. It also gives you the advantage of the infrared remote control back to the primary location. A wireless system is easier if you have to set something up quickly or you're gonna be moving that secondary location around inside your home, then a wireless system is probably a better choice. Now, now what I'm showing you next is a couple of different options for both wired systems and wireless systems, just to give you an idea what's available out there because some of the more sophisticated systems systems will actually have a single transmitter and multiple receivers, which is really nice because then you can broadcast that same content to three or four locations remotely. Some of the wireless systems are even more sophisticated as well, where the connection to the device is through a USB-C. And that's nice because a lot of the newer portable technology that's out there uses a USB-C to push the audio and video out, and they don't have an HDMI connection on it. So a couple of different options, and I'll show you those next, and then I'll come back with some final thoughts. Most HDMI extender systems are wired solutions that enable you to send media from a single device to a remote location over a standard LAN cable. Depending on the solution you choose, you may be able to share 4K ultra-high definition media hundreds of feet away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 cable. Many of them also include advanced features like infrared remote control transmission or power over cable technology for extended capabilities. The EX400C is a simple HDMI extender solution that allows you to share one media device with one remote location up to 400 feet away. It uses a wired LAN connection between the nodes for transmission of the media content and also provides for infrared remote control to be sent back to your media device to allow you to control the content you're watching. The HD EX104 expands on the one-to-one -one relationship of the EX400C and allows you to share one media device with up to four remote locations at the same time. It combines the HDMI transmission capabilities of a standard extender kit with a four-way splitter to send the same content to additional outputs. This is a handy solution if you have content that needs to be distributed to several locations at the same time. Wireless systems offer more flexibility than a wired solution and allows you to easily change the media device or remote location by simply moving the module. No LAN connections are needed for these systems and all of the audio and video is transmitted wirelessly to the remote location. Wireless setups typically have shorter extension distances than wired solutions and tend to be slightly more expensive. They are a great option when setting up temporary connections for sharing media or if you'll need to change the media source or remote location often. A simple wireless system like the WHD330K enables you to share content with a second remote location without the worry of cabling. You can simply connect the transmitter module up to your media source and the receiver module up to your remote monitor and start enjoying the content. This greatly simplifies your wiring tasks and makes relocating the remote monitor very easy. Another great solution for portable media devices like tablets or laptops is the WHC50K that provides an integrated USB-C connector on the transmitter module. This allows you to plug it directly into the output port of your device and eliminate the cable. The advantage of having a USB-C connection is that it allows you to share media from devices that don't provide an HDMI connection natively. This also makes switching between devices very easy by simply moving the transmitter. More advanced wireless systems like the WHD VCP2TK are also available that not only allow you to send media content to a remote device, but also provide a set of two transmitter modules so you can quickly switch between a pair of media devices at the push of a button. This makes sharing multiple media devices very easy over this wireless network. So as you can see, there are a wide variety of different systems out there that allow you to do pretty much whatever you need to extend that HDMI signal. Really what it comes down to, as I said in the beginning, is if you're gonna have a secondary location that's not gonna move, so maybe you've got a DVD player down in the den and there's an upstairs bedroom that you wanna broadcast that content to and you know you're not gonna move that monitor around, go with a wired system, it's gonna be less expensive. It's also gonna build in more features natively with the particular product. 
If you need to move that secondary location around or you need to set something up temporary, that wireless system is probably a better solution for you. It tends to be a little bit more expensive. It's a little less feature rich, but it'll do the job for you under most circumstances. Again, these systems are incredibly sophisticated. They can handle the latest ultra high definition 4K 60 frames a second content. They're HDCP compliant in most cases. They're the latest HDMI standards. So anything you want to transmit from the primary location to the secondary location, I promise you there's a system out there that can handle it. So I hope you found this content helpful. And until next time, thanks for watching.